Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another tutorial from yours truly, Shannon Bruce, uh, formerly known as Chaotic. I am a uh, variety streamer on Twitch, streams on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 7 p.m. Pacific time so at twitch.tv slash Shannon Bruce. Uh, you can come check me out and see what's going on on my channel with all this craziness that I have going on. So tonight what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a look at the previous video I did, which was using um, exclamation point commands in your chat to create uh, GIF and, and sound files to pop up on your stream. Now what's actually going to happen now, we're going to change this up. We're going to do, do it a different method that's going to be less spammy in your chat and also allow you to use videos as well. Um, also, you can limit it to only subscribers, only moderators, anything you want to do. It also works on Mixer as well if you do stream on Mixer. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna run to this and any links for anything you need I'm gonna go ahead and put down in the description. Uh, I am using OBS studio With the obs.live plugin from stream elements. I am also using stream elements for this overlay You don't have to use stream elements I just prefer it for everything I use but you do have to use it for this overlay just like my last one so let's go ahead and go to the tutorial here. The first thing you're going to do is click on the link that's showing right here, 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 somewhere down below, I, wherever it gets put. Uh, that's going to give you the um, link to download the on-screen commands overlay. Once that is done, you're going to see this overlay on-screen commands in your stream elements overlays so you'll you know once you log into stream elements you go into my overlays and you're going to see this on screen commands by Xanzer. this was created by somebody in the stream elements discord uh which i'll also put a link down below for that it's fantastic to get all kinds of fun little information like this intro player awesome shout outs rotating goals everything like that we'll go over a lot of this stuff in, in future videos but for right now we're going to go to the on screen commands so we're going to go ahead and hit edit once that loads up, blah, 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 eventually, hey, hey, there we go. Once that loads up, you're going to see there's a little detail here that says there's a YouTube video to watch to learn, which is great. It's where I learned it. Um, this is going to give you my way of doing it, which has, you know, I've, I've tested it and it's worked. So I've had mistakes that I've made, and I'm going to teach you those how not to make those mistakes. So the very first thing we're going to do, once this is open, we're not going to touch anything. We're going to open up a new tab with stream elements again. Once you scroll into stream elements, you're going to scroll down to stream store just like we did previously. And we're going to go ahead and create a new item. Now, we're not going to keep this. This is just going to be able so we can copy the links to all the, the GIFs and videos and audio and everything we need. Uh, we don't need to use this store. This is just to make it easier for us in the future. So what you do is you create a new item up here. Then you just go ahead and click next. You don't need to type anything. You don't need to do anything. You just hit next. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop a GIF in here. So we need to set the preview asset. Okay. You're going to go ahead and hit upload. And you can either select your files or drag and drop. Me personally, I'm going to drag and drop them. So we're going to do the bees GIF. You know, Nicolas Cage, the bees. It's funny. Now, to make things faster, I'm going to go ahead and hit upload again. And I'm going to go ahead and upload my audio as well, which you can see has been uploaded. Oh, no, not the bees. And as you can hear, not the bees. and we are going to do a video file later on too. So I'm going to show you that one, but I'm going to just go ahead and upload it now just to make things easier down the line. So done. It's uploaded. It's all good to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to submit for our video or our GIF, the preview asset right there. Then we need to choose the sound, upload the sound, going to choose the bees one that we just uploaded. We'll hit next. We'll hit save. 
now the item's there. After we go back in, you can delete this item. Um, I like to keep one in here just when I want to add more things to the channel. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to edit and we'll go to the item content. Now you see here that changed the name of the audio file and it still has the bees there. So we'll leave this open, go back to that first tab with the overlay in it, and we're going to click on the on-screen command overlay. Once you do that, you'll click on settings, and then you're going to open your editor. Okay, the only thing we're going to mess with in here is in the JavaScript, JS. Now this is going to tell you it's version 2.0, uh, the tutorials are here at this YouTube link on how to get your images, video links. You can have multiple images and videos and pick a random one for the command, uh, which is actually kind of cool. I'm going to be doing that later on. You use the image tag for any GIFs or images. You use a video tag for videos. If you want a moderator only, if you want a sub only, if you have sounds. Um, so those things like that. Now, it it does come with some test ones. Me personally, I've already changed those out. So I have a command here that's, it has, you know, the command name, the image, the sound, the command, the video. And this is all we're doing is, is just basically copying and pasting. So the easiest way to do this is just take, if you're doing image and sound, which I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to leave that length alone. We're just going to do this copy the name the where it says image and where it says sound go in between these two you don't want to go below this uh semicolon here or the colon but you can go right in here under this this period and paste it cool so since this is bees we're going to change milk to bees we know we have an image and we have a sound so to get the links you just go back here to this tab you were on for the image, you just right click that image and you're going to copy image location. Done. Go back here. Go in between the parent or the, the quotation marks and paste it. Okay, there's your image. Now the video is a little or the sound is a little bit different. You're gonna go here and you see this description of the mp3 you're going to copy that go back here and you're only going to paste it on this last part not the whole thing just right here on the last part so we'll paste that and then the last thing to do is you have to add this command at the end the bracket and a comma you have to have a bracket comma at the end of each description you're doing so we'll go ahead and hit done and this is my my thing there so we're going to go ahead and test out exclamation point bees so that works fantastic and i'll show you how to put this on your stream also as as a uh you know, as an overlay. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do, we'll go back into the stream store. We're going to clear that sound and we're going to change the preview because we're going to do the video now. So we'll go up to videos and we'll put this video that I just uploaded. And we'll hit save to close it. Go back up. You always have to go in, save it, and then open it back up so the link is correct. So we'll go, now that that's the video that I want we're gonna go up here go back into the, the open editor again JavaScript and we're just gonna copy one of the videos that are already here so we'll grab this one we're gonna go under the comma and paste it now this command since it's a metal bird we're just gonna say metal for this command okay so we'll go back here right click on the video copy video location back to this one and again only pasting in between the, the quotation marks paste 
So now there's the video. So exclamation point metal is the command. And again, always at the end, hit bracket, comma, and enter. That just lets the, the program know that that's the end of your command. You could copy that out of these if you wanted to. If you wanted to add this sub command, meaning subscribers are the only ones that can do it. Moderators or you are the only one that can do it. That's completely up to you. I like to let a lot of people do my commands. So we'll leave this at metal. We'll hit done. And now let's test that one out. Oh my goodness. That should not have happened like that. Let's let's fix that. This is what happens when you're live recording. We're gonna go exclamation point metal. You see, now that's just a video. You feel like you're in control. Now, once you're done. Once you are done, you're going to hit save. That way you don't lose the stuff you just fixed in here. Now you can, you can also change these options, your overall volume for your alerts, your cooldown, which is in milliseconds. So this is a 30 second cooldown for each alert. And then how long? About nine seconds is the average time. The, you know, just don't have people do nine, 10 seconds and just leave it at that. Um, so we'll save it. Then there's a little thing that's a link that says copy overlay URL. Now we're going to get funky. Wow. OBS is everywhere. So don't worry about all the stuff I have I have down here. That's all the stuff I work on. Uh, so on this one, we're a bit of a... So that we don't get issues. Yes, yes, that's fine. So don't worry about all this. Don't worry about all this stuff. Yes, we're going to mark it all as red. We can actually close that. Close that. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do here is we're going to right click. We're going to add a browser source in whichever scene you want, right? And this is going to be tutorial alert. Okay. We're going to go ahead and paste it. That website we just copied from Stream Elements. We're going to shut it down when it's not visible and refresh it when it becomes active. Now we'll hit OK. Now what I didn't going to do, what I am going to do before I test this, I am going to close this window. Actually, I am just going to mute the tab because if you don't, you're going to hear the sound twice. So you can move this wherever you want. You can resize it. I'm just going to leave it right where it is just as an example. So now we go bees. and metal. Do you feel like you're in control? Again, you see how big it is. You can always make them whatever size you want, move it wherever you want, whatever you feel like doing. So guys, uh, that is it for this tutorial, this upgraded version. As you see, there's no spam in chat. Uh, the only other thing you can do if you want, if you want this to cost like loyalty points in your channel, like a lot of bots have. Thank you, bot, for telling me to drink my liquid refreshment. I have water right here. Um, if you want this to cost loyalty points for your channel, what you do is you go into your bot and you make this command just cost points. I don't do that, but it's something you can do. We can show you how to do that on another tutorial, depending on your bot. Uh, but that is it for today. Uh, again, I want to say thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for watching this, commenting on my previous video, which is now kind of uh, obsolete. But yes, so we've got new updates. I am going to start having tutorial videos come out every Monday. Now, this is a special one on a Friday because it's my comeback video, kind of remake of my original one. So this coming Monday, I am going to have another new video come out. Uh, and it's actually going to be based on my these zooming tutorials because some people ask to do how to do the zooms. Like, you know, when people do, do the... Uh, 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 the really close up zooms or that that kind of zooms. Now mine, you see have motion on them and I'm gonna show you how to do them with 
or without the motion. So like they're like the instant, instant uh, zooms. So guys, again, thank you very much. My name is Shannon, and uh, I hope to see you all in the very near future. Have a great day.